Good morning. Uh, my name is Jeff Gingrich, and we're going to show you this morning how to start a wood gun, wood gasification boiler. Uh, this is a E100, so it's about five years old, and I uh, just want to show you how easy it is to start the boiler. I have already put in some small pieces of wood, two to three inches in diameter, and not just to cover the bottom. And then we would want to start the fire on top of that wood because this boiler truly does burn upside down even from the beginning of the of the starting point of the boiler. Uh, so we would we already have it loaded all we need to do is put some little bit of kindling in which I have a couple pieces in here and then we just need a couple pieces of wood uh, on the sides and some paper on top. So we'll go ahead and put the some small pieces of wood in. As you can see they're inch and a half, two inches round uh, you can run full length. Uh, this boiler can handle up to 28 inches in length. That's the maximum. So we can put a couple pieces on the side. And it's important to run the wood from front to back. Don't crisscross or, or uh, intermingle the wood. It's best to run them like you would be stacking a pow on the outside when you're stacking wood for the, for the winter. All right, now we're, all we need to do is some scrap paper. And did some concrete work here last week, so I'm just using some some paper bags, that, sack creek bags actually. So, all right, so we turn the boiler on. The induction fan turns on instantly because the boiler is gone for heat. So we just lay the paper on top. I'll get my handy dandy lighter here. Go ahead and shut the door and see what happens. As you can see on the wheelbarrow, what kind of wood we're using. I have trimmed some fence rows, so we've got all kinds of variety of wood. We've got pine here. This is uh, about a six inch diameter piece of pine. We can run pine, hardwood. Typically don't split it because I don't have the time to split. And it, it will consume unsplit wood just as easy as split wood. see what happens. It's been maybe a minute or so. I hear some wood crackling. Okay, the paper is about out. We've got a wood fire started. You can see here in, the, in underneath. So it is truly that easy. Now once that, what we'll do is I'll let that burn a little bit, get the fire going, get this wood really caught. And in about three minutes or four minutes, I'll come back and load it up for the day. Simple as that.